Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome to Ravensburg. This is a new map by Top Ace 888. We've had loads of mods in the past from Top Ace 888, real quality stuff. As far as I'm aware on console at least, this is the first map we've had from Top Ace 888. And it does not disappoint. It's an absolute cracker. There you go. Welcome to Ravensburg. Map by Top Ace 888. We are here in the middle of the town. We've got a lot to get around. There is a railway to have a look at as well. I am on New Farmer on Normal Economy, is what I normally do my map tours on. So, I'm trying to think, right, what do we start with? On New Farmer, we start with fields 10, 9, and 10, and the farm up here. We do have a farmhouse trigger and we do a sleep through the night trigger and we do also have a cow barn. There are two cow barns. The second farm is all the way down here, which you need to buy. And there's also a horse pasture, which you need to buy if you want to access it. There are no other animals on this map as yet. Now, <laughs> before you just stop watching this immediately, <laughs> the slot count... On New Farmer on console is 1,031. On PlayStation 4 slash 5 it is anyway. Out of 1,299. But we can get that slot count down. Don't worry. We can get that slot count down. By quite a lot, actually. Depends what you want to actually do with it. But you can get that slot count right down. But that's what we start with on New Farmer. Field prices aren't too bad for the size of the fields. It feels like a very big map. We've got some nice big forestry areas all split into sections which makes getting into forestry not too bad. We've got a huge forested area over here, up on the raised section of land, and we've got, I'm assuming it's Ravensburg Castle, up on the hillside. Loads of cell points, some of them are around the railway track, which we're going to have a look at in a little while too, and some of them are off the beaten track a little bit, which we'll also try and drive around. And I'll get in all the cell points. There are three railroad silos, and there are two cell points. So we've got the Ravensburg train mill as a cell point, and we've got railroad silo west are both cell points on the railway line. But then we've also got a grain elevator there, we've got a grain elevator there, and we've got a grain elevator up here. Each of those holds 200,000 litres. So they are, in, in essence, they are farm silos, but they're on the railway line as well if you need them. I'm just trying to think what else do I need to mention about the map? while we're looking at it mods there are well mm, there are technically mods we'll talk about that in a little while too contracts are available biogas plant biogas plant is in the north east 127,847 to buy and if you want to do any biogas work you're going to need to own it when you do buy it it's regular things that go into it there's nothing extra like wood chip or potatoes or sugar beet or anything like that it's the regular things that go into biogas plant and for silage it's paying out 360 as a standard so again it's not an elevated price or anything like that for biogas so we're going to start in the town i'm going to work my way up you'll see as we go around and as i normally do when i do these map tours i'll explain where we are and what we're doing now the other thing this does have it does have a Homer t440 and a roper panther and they are converted so what we'll do is scroll across actually we just go into that menu go to vehicles now under beet technology that's where they normally are because they're sugar beet harvesters but what top ace 888 has done is put two in here now these haven't got ridiculous capacities or anything like that 43,000 litres capacity for the roper 45,000 for the Homer but these will do potatoes so rather than just having the, uh, the Grimmer Veritron 470, this does give you a bit more option-wise with regard to doing potato harvesting if you want to. So that's a nice addition in as well. What we'll do is head from here. The town, actually I was walking around having a quick look around the map before I started. It's got a very Steppenbach kind of feel to it. The town at least has anyway. It's lovely. I'm not going to be able to show you everything. There's no way I'm going to be able to get around all of it. I will show you all the cell points. We'll have a look at the landscape as we go around. But there is so much more to this map to look at. Up in the sky, you can see an air balloon. I have found three so far. One of them is a giant's one. One of them is a class one. And one of them is an eight ball because it's top ace 888. I don't know if there's any more. Might just be the three. But anyway, we'll open the gate here because what we're coming up on 
Within the town itself is the first animal dealer. There are two on the map. So the first animal dealer is just here. We have, I think that's a barn cell point. I just need to double check that. There are so many cell points. Yeah, Barn at Ravensburg. So we've got a Barn cell point just there. And then we've got two buy points. This map is littered with buy points. There are so many places to buy all this stuff. So we can buy slurry and we can buy manure from here at the livestock market. We're going to continue out of here. Round the corner. And we're going to come to the main store. There is a fuel station just on the right there as we go past. And the main store is just here. Nice big open area. Good entrance and exit. Plenty of space here as well. The workshop trigger for selling, repairing, maintaining, customising. That's all over this side. And then your actual store one is just here. Now, this is something worth mentioning as well. So there's your store menu just there. We do have a forklift truck sat here. And we do have a dog kennel. But they're not showing up. If we go to garage, if I go to leased items, because sometimes we've had maps where they put a forklift truck on as a leased item at the main store. It's not showing under leased, and it's not showing under owned items either. It's here. And we can use it. But it's not showing up anywhere. So that will be part of that slot count. Although, I still you can't sell it because it's not showing up anywhere. And the same with the dog kennel. That's not showing up anywhere on the menu. But there's a, there's a dog house here with a dog at the main store. Probably not a bad time actually to talk about vehicles. So, as you can see, we start with a whole load of stuff. And I mean a whole load of stuff. So the main farm that we own on New Farmer, which is at the northern part of the map, we start with the New Holland T6125, a K7210 Pro, Massive Ferguson Activa 7347, a pickup, TKD302 Agriliner trailer, a regular header and a corn header for our uh, harvester. We've got a subsoiler, we've got a cedar, front seed tank, planter, a boom sprayer for fertiliser and herbicide. We've got a regular fertiliser spreader, which will do fertiliser and lime. We've got mowers. We've got windrowers, tedders. We've got a loading wagon. We've got water, milk. That will do fuel as well. Tanker. That has been added in under mods 2. And then we've got some bale fork stuff. Now, we've got a German cow stable by Moose Agra. Now, all these same mod. We've got grain silo. We've got a single bunker silo. Then we've got all of these storage. Now, both of the farms have these. And what I'll do later on, I'll explain about getting the slot count down when we get up to the farm areas. We've got a lot to get through before we get there. So we've got that one there, 100,000 litre capacity. We've got fertilizer storage, lime storage, seed storage, field hall, machinery hall, easy shed one with side walls, small shed, jet washer then we've got walls so the walls can be removed around the farms if because you know, they'll be in the way if you want to get rid of them they can actually be removed and then we've got the farmhouse but here's the weird thing if we go across to our placeables and look under animal pens the moose agra cow pen is not in there so if you sell it you can't put it back under miscellaneous, we've got nothing but the regular stuff. Decoration, nothing but the regular stuff. Farmhouse, we have got the standard farmhouse, but that's not saying mod either, but it is there. Sheds, we've just got those. None of the Moose Agra ones are showing here as available to buy. And the same with silos until we get to all of these. Now, these are all available, the storage ones. But the bunker silos, not. So, yeah, it's a bit of a sticky one, that. And that will make more sense later on when we get to it. Because, yeah, like I say, I'll explain how we can get the slot account right down. Because we do have some kind of hidden slots, so to speak. So crossing over, we're at the harbour point. We're still heading north and we've got a sort of canal way that runs right away across the centre of the map. This is the harbour cell point just here. And as we go around, we get to some more buy points. Like I say, there are loads dotted around the map. So... We've got the seed and fertiliser buy point. Now these marker for the fill triggers, they are removable. If I go up to them, if I open my help menu, it says fill marker on and off. We can turn those on and off. So if you don't like them, don't want them because you don't think they look realistic, because obviously they don't look realistic, but 
if you want them on you can leave them if you don't you can turn them off by pressing circle and that's the same for any of those fill markers as we go around the map and there are a few we have got further over i think we've got a lime by point or is that liquid fertilizer herbicide <laughs> herbicide there and then we've got another two across the docks here as well what we'll do is look on the map that'll be easier wouldn't it uh, so we've got a line point and we have also got a liquid fertilizer point so a load of buy points available here at the harbor now what i am going to do luckily for me it's almost like i planned it directly opposite the train is sitting there so what we're going to do is jump across to the train there is a plane that flies around and there's not one coming at the moment but barges do come along the canal and go past they do honk their horns as they go past as well which is pretty cool there's just not one at the moment so bear with me a second so i've started the train up we are the other side of the canal now we were just over there a minute ago and we're going to do the loop round and we'll take in some of the cell points that are on the railway line but also not far from because it will make life easier then it won't give us too many to get around them by vehicle but it's also a nice way of having a look at the scenery as we go around and the scenery is cracking the map's fantastic with the canal in the middle and the bridges that go across I, I yeah i really really like this yes the slot count is pretty high but the topography of the map as well is fantastic so this is first of the railway cell points if we go back to the map we are now at Railroad Silo West, which is another one of the main cell points. And we've also got some more buy points here. Seed, fertiliser, and let's click off that one. And lime, anyway. They are there. And you can just see through the trees there, you've got one of the red markers on the silo, which again, you can turn on or off if you want to. So there's more buy points there. Continuing on, we're going to cross the river, canal. It looks man-made to me, but... The level of detail on the map is incredible. It, it really is. Like I say, I don't know about PC, but I'm pretty sure on console... Whoa! I was going to say, I thought I was going to hit that then. Um, it, it's amazing. And if it is Top Ace 888's first map, wow! So, one of our railroad, or one of our silos, anyway, the grain silos is there. Like I say, each one of those holds 200,000 litres, and there are three of those. Continuing around to the southern part of the town, where we started. What I like as well is the detail on this, as we come around now, you've got this big concrete wall that shields the town from the train, so the train noise and obviously the visibility of it. So if your garden's back onto it, although there's a big concrete wall, but still better than the train going past so the next of the railway cell points we're coming up on here now this is accessible as a cell point from the road as well as by train so that's it just there so we've gone past railroad silo west past the first grain elevator come down here so we're at ravensburg train mill so that is a cell point that can be sold by the train and also by road we'll get to the spinnery langenhide Langenheide later on carry on I'm just very conscious of how much stuff um, I need to kind of get around we've got this tunnel here which is amazing now when I showed the map earlier I showed field prices there is a periphery we can buy the bit with the canal and some of the land around the outside if you want to buy that peripheral bit of land it is 335,066 to buy the map is set in model uh, in middle germany yeah middle german map now it does say model railway but i'm wondering if that's what is that what this is the railway because it does say again there is where are we german landscape with great attention to detail waits you in the look of a model railway and invites you to discover and linger hmm now i'm assuming this is it but if there is a model railway, I haven't come across it. So that's something to find. Um, as because I was too busy talking. In amongst the part of the forest here, and I've gone past another cell point I didn't intend to, we've got a loading point for lumber. It's not a cell point, but the crane does work. There are two cranes around the map that do work. 
So that crane does work, you can load your lumber, and this train has got two carriages at the back for lumber, so you can actually load up the crane, or load up using the crane. We'll do stop there, come on. Come on. Now you might see the bottom left hand corner on the map, there are there is a lake with a water point, there are several water points around the map as well. But obviously there are placeables we can place, I'm going to cut through the trees to get to this cell point. which is accessible by road, not by train. As far as I know, I don't know if the gates are time-locked because we start a little bit kind of later on in the day when you first come on the map. But the gates are all open and closable. This one is, so we come round from there, following the railway line, round, just past that lake. Now, we've already looked at that and I've backed up a bit. So this is the sugar mill. This is tucked away in the woodland too. Just looking around the map trying to think, where would there be a model railway? I'm assuming this is what this is talking about. But anyway, regards to that. So that's the sugar mill cell point that we're at now, and that's the cell point just there. So we head back to the train. Back past the lumber loading yard. So we're now going to be heading up the eastern side of the map, heading north. I know it's a bit of a kind of bold statement to make, but in all honesty, I feel this is a better version of Felsbrun. <laughs> I know it's a bit harsh because Giants made it, but I really do. So, next to the grain silos is just there, 200,000 litres capacity. Carry on. There you go, there's one of the barges. map is seasons ready it does say precision farming support now I know sometimes you get maps that say seasons supported some say seasons ready this one says precision farming support does that mean it's got a custom soil map I don't know it's not clear I would assume so from that but that is an assumption right turn the engine off and just jump out of there that will stop right so what we're going to do is just whiz in quickly here this is the biogas plant so the biogas plant here we've got a couple of bunker silos just to the side there we've got a digestate tank so when you've got your byproducts you collect your digestate from that pipe there but we have got here is where you put your product in it's a tip in the ball so it's one of those ones that depending on where you're bringing your stuff from Drive through, we do have lights as well, like so. I think the first time I came across one like this, was it the Millennial Farms map? Might have been, you know. So yeah, that's your cell point, the biogas plant inside the building. Turn that off, turn that off. And a little bit further on on this plot of land, there is another water source thing. It's a water tower, just a little bit further along. And then you can see up in the sky, oh you can see it when I go out of the train, there, there's the eight ball balloon. So the water tower is just on the left hand side there. I'm going to stop just about here because I want to take in some of these turn the engine off so jumping off the train again we're heading across here now there are also a few of these placeable areas around the map 
they will need a bit of landscaping work in so much as texture work. Oh, that's a good point. Now's a good point to look at that. So as far as textures go on the landscaping tool, I don't always show it on the map, but this one I'm going to. I've got a short video clip I want to show you. It's about a minute long, which shows you all of the different landscaping textures. And there are a few, and there are some really, really nice ones as well. So I'll cut to that now. fantastic so yeah quite a few to choose from i like the cobbled ones the cobbled sort of street ones we're going to cross as you go around here so this is the i want to say the ravensburg um spinnery so we've covered all the way around the side past the grain elevator all the way up here past the biogas plant yeah ravensburg spinnery so spinnery ravensburg that's the place of blair just there we've just passed the water tower so we've got the Ravensburg spinnery, but we've also got knocking around the map in three, two or three different locations. We've got workshop triggers, so almost like a garage where you can go and take vehicles. I think this is just through here. Let's hop the fence. Yeah, for repair work. So we've got a garage point just here for repair, maintenance, that kind of thing. I don't know if we can sell there, potentially. Fuel station, just opposite. And then we're going to get back onto the train. Actually, we might as well do this while we're here. So this is the first of two lumber cell points. This crane also works here at this one. This cell point for lumber is on the uh, railway. The other one isn't. So if you want to load your train up at the other place and do log in and bring it here, you can. The other cell point is not on the railway, but we are going to get to that later on. And there's the trigger. Wood chips get sold somewhere else. They're not sold here. So it's not technically a, bio, a, a sawmill as such, but that's your cell point. So we can scoot through this one. But you do have to unload and the cell point trigger is just here. Sometimes they are actually on the railway line, but that one isn't right back to the train i'm going to stop just around the corner as well taking a couple more like i said earlier it's just it's a little bit easier doing it from the train than if i then drove around to taking all these because the train line does take in a lot of these already which just makes a lot of sense so the third of our grain silos that holds 200,000 liters is just here which we've just come up against that one here and this these can be accessed from the road or from the side what i'm going to do is we're back across here because we have got another cell point if you head west a little bit further that's where the main farm is and we're going to come back up to that in a moment and that's where we're going to start the rest of the start the rest of the tour um from vehicle uh, we're going to be car -born. So we are now at the bio storage Langenheide and this is a cell point but we've also got some buy points as well around the side here so we've got buy point for herbicide and liquid fertilizer just there. Like I said before I do apologize if I'm, if I'm rattling through but um, there is quite a lot to get through. Can I hop the fence there? There's a gap. Let's go through there. There's the giant's balloon. Did we see that one already? Got the giant's balloon. This might be the class one we haven't seen yet. And then what we'll do now is just head down so we follow the loop. But this now heads back down to the middle. We hit the canal and then bung a right at the canal. But it's nice to then see the bridge as well. Oh, actually, no, there's one more here, isn't there? There was me thinking I'd, I was done for this bit. I'm not.
turn the engine off and jump out. That will stop, hopefully. We can jump back to the minute. Right, sorry. There's another one we need to access from here. We could have accessed this in the road because we are going to drive past this in a little while, but as we're on the way past anyway, it just kind of makes sense. So we've got another livestock market. The livestock market triggers around the other side, but this is another barn sale point. So we come down past the grain elevator, elevator and we are now here at Barn Langenheide. So that's the barn sale point. Around the other side, we've got the animal dealer. So another point for buying, selling, loading, or unloading your animals just here. There's a nice little uh, brow house just there. Very nice indeed. Uh, and then we've got our horses, which is also another one that's fixed in... Oh, I say it's fixed in place. Actually, we need to... That's probably something I should have checked as well. If I click on this now, nothing happens. That's just showing up as open gate. Now, if you want it to show up, you need to buy it. And this is the horse pasture. So what we'll do is click on that. That's only 2,493. So what we'll do is buy that. And now the dialog box comes up. So you do need to buy this bit of land to get the dialog box to come up. And that will hold 16 horses. We've got our triggers for our uh, hay and straw. And we've got our feed trough and our water trough around the other side there. I think our bedding trigger is there. So this is for your horses. And there's a bit of an exercise area just there. Not too expensive to buy. But I am now wondering if that is available to then sell. I haven't got anything in there. No, maybe not then, because I just bought the land. But you don't actually start with anything. But as you've just seen, you do start with cows. So our cow barn that we start with, we do start with 12 cows already, which we're going to get to in just a moment. Right, back to the train. So as we head around the bottom, under the bridge here that crosses another one of the bridges that crosses here, back along the side of the canal, and there's a barge there, look, just going along to where we picked up the train initially. So what I'm going to do is switch from there up to the main farm. There we go. And here we are. So on the map, we are up here at the main farm. So we've just gone past all these cell points in the train. I showed you all these. So this is the main farm and our new farmer this is the plot we start with. I've just bought that, so that's why that's showing up. But this is what we start with on New Farmer. We've got loads of those storage silos that we're showing as mods, and we've got storage, I think each one's 100,000 litres, and we've got storage for seeds and fertiliser and liquid fertiliser and herbicides and all sorts of stuff, and all of our machinery and equipment is all up and around here. So dotted around, and the bunker silo that it says we have is this one here it's closed in but just there the farmhouse that we start with is here i know i'm not tired at the moment and our pickup is just there which we're going to grab in a moment rest of the machinery is in all the buildings all around the harvest are just there we've got our jet washing area with our jet wash just there and our cows now this is the moose agra one our dialogue box is just here for buying, selling, loading or unloading. We do have our trigger for water around the side there. This will hold 100. Feed trough on the inside there. And like I said, kind of showed you already, we do start with 12 cows already in there. Clenis is great, but they've got nothing. They've got no feed or anything like that. But they are in there. We do start with 12, which is pretty cool. Which then brings me on to looking at this because we do start with all of this so all of this we can sell if we want to we can sell all of it but i'm going to get onto that in a little bit more detail again when we do the second farm because at the moment the second farm we don't own but it is there and you'll see when we get there why that's relevant slurry point and manure point are just there and we can access in here if we want to as well but we do have three of each of the main type of cows, not the Brahmins. Let's grab the pickup. Let's get round the rest of it. Now, the main silo, say main silo, we've got a few storage silos here. The main silo is just there. Let's open the gate. 
purposes. Um, why am I locked in? That's weird. That's worked perfectly well for me before. Have I lost the trigger to open the gate? Oh, that's weird. Well, anyway, got it to open. If you have the same problem, then maybe you need to go to the outside of the gate. So now we're going to take in the rest of the cell points that are available. And there are a few, but we're going to do this bit by road. I think we need to go... I've got to remember the map now. Turn right. Follow it down. We are going to go past the second livestock market. Like I said, I could have done it by road. Maybe think about it now. Maybe I should have done, but it doesn't matter. Take a left. I'll just keep trying to look down at my list because I made so many notes on this map of stuff I wanted to make sure I explained. We've done the landscape and textures. Oh, I didn't show you in the cow stable. I'll show you the next one. The cow stable it has openable like shutters, netting on the windows. Thank you, Big Daddy, for hitting me up without letting me know. As far as required mods go, there's nothing listed as a required mod on this map. I'll just try to cross over here. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount of traffic on the map. And it does say in the mod tab as well that the traffic goes up to 45 kilometers an hour and it slows down for junctions. So we are at the... It's Langenheide. I'm going to get it wrong again, aren't I? It's Langenheide. So we come down past there again. So at Langenheide, LGH Langenheide, which is another one of the sale points, but we have also got buy points. Now this is a almost like a livestock feed market, as you can see from all the pallets here, but we have got buy points here for pig food, chicken food. But on the other side, we've got cow food, which I'm assuming is going to be TMR, and horse food. So that'll be oats. That's going to be TMR. The sale point here for LGH Langenheide is just there. That's going to be probably wheat, because it normally is for the chicken food, but we can do wheat, barley, or oats for chickens, but, and then pig food just there. And again, these are all, if you don't want those on, we can turn those markers off if you don't want the marker on. Like so. So as far as buy points, like I said earlier, there are loads. You haven't got to worry. Which again, although the slot count is quite high, it does kind of negate to some degree the need for lots of placeable buy points and things like that. Although I don't know what the prices are. The prices could be a little bit high, in which case you may want to add your own ones in, especially if you know particular ones where you can get your, your products really cheaply. So what we're going to do now is chuck a left here. So Osninghausen, this is another of the sell points and also buy points. So yeah, if we look on the map, we've crossed the river here. We are now at grain storage, Osninghausen, and we've got sell, uh, buy points also above for fertilizer, lime, and I think herbicide, which are here. There we go. Seed, lime. Where's the herbicide? Well, there you go. Herbicide and liquid fertilizer just over there as well. So more buy points, just in case you were concerned there weren't enough. Turn that off. Back out of there. Right, as far as crops, there is one additional crop type that's been added into this map. And it's field grass, or is it acre, acre grass? If we go onto this menu, uh, actually we're on the right one, aren't we? If you look here, yeah, acre grass, if you go to the bottom of fruit types on the right-hand side, it says acre grass. None of it's on the map at the moment, but if you go to any of the cedars, so if we go across, actually come out and go to that, go across to our cedars, go to one that shows it there you go so that one if you look on the, the bottom the list of crops that will put into the ground there's one with a hand with the little leaf in the hand that's acker grass now you can plant that as a grass but the great thing with it though as well is if we go to this menu and go along to our cell points and crop types go right to the very end we do have prices listed there for acker grass which are pretty good i'll be honest 
You got one up there. Um, agricultural trade in uh, icing, Hagen. One thousand and twenty for a thousand liters of um, of the acker grass. So we do have an additional crop type. I just suddenly I was going down Melissa's. So I thought, oh, I didn't mention the crop. So yeah, so we do have an additional crop, which can be sold. Let's head back onto. Ah, oh, should have looked. Sorry. As we come round and into the town, just before it rises up, well, just before it rises up towards the castle, we've got another fuel point and we've got another workshop trigger, so another kind of garage point just on the right as we go past the there, you can just see it. So we've got a garage point there. We're going to go, think, 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 right, I think, and then left. I'm racking my brains now, I'm sure it is, yeah. Yeah, when we get to the next junction. Like I said earlier, the landscape's lovely. I, I really do like it. So this junction left... Was it this one? No. Next one. Probably just got that one horribly wrong. We'll see in a moment. So a bit of driving now until we get to the next ones. So on the left, we've got the railroad cell point. That, I said, was available and you can unload from the road or from the train. And then we've got another of our spinnery cell points just here which I said earlier that we would get to so we are now from here we've come down the road past there out to that junction then followed all the way along up here so the Ravensburg train mill we went past we're now at the spinnery Langenheide now I need to cross over there and then bung a left I think so there you go that's the second of the spinnery cell points Now we go across here and take a left. There's a bit of a drive now. Fire station on the right hand side as we go past. I think it's fire station. And then we go this way. Now again it does say in the mod tub uh, on the description about removing fences and borders. I think that's those those fences, when it says fences and borders, I don't think there's removable fences and hedges. I think it's just those particular ones around the farm areas that are on there. So we're going to continue up around here. And more forestry on our left. Like I say, all small small parcels of land. So if you like I've said before, if you want to do a little bit of forestry, it's not going to cost you an absolute fortune to just have a go, which is kind of nice. Now this next sell point is an interesting one in that it only takes one particular thing and considering it's a it's a big old facility and this is the energy we'll check it in a second but it's energy sell point as you can see with the wind turbines this is where you take your wood chips so it's like a biomass sort of thing and again for the this is my one for the entire map i think my one little bugbear maybe that is such a big sell point with kind of so much the same importance added to it but just the fact that it's here and not put with other things it's got this entire facility and building this takes wood chips that's it that's all this sale point takes but it doesn't actually pay out that well either which surprised me i thought it's one of those kind of things oh fantastic so we've gone from the, tr the ravensburg train mill we followed the road all the way up here and we've come all the way along here to the energy farm. So our energy farm sell point, if we go down to there and scroll across, it only takes wood chips. It's only paying out 173. So you think, it's not otherwise ones that, because it's not paying out particularly well for wood chip, are you going to take the time to do wood chips to get that kind of price? Are you going to bring it here? So then it unfortunately for me personally just in my head i'm thinking it kind of then almost renders the entire sell point pointless because people just aren't going to use it 
which seems a pity to me because all the effort that's gone into it I don't know, I mean that's just a, a personal opinion, it may be that if you love doing wood chips that much and you're going to add it in and do it anyway then you will come up here, but I just thought you know, if it, if it was a really cracking price or even a, a, a marginally decent price, it would encourage people to have a go at doing them because you can't sell wood chips at either of the lumber sale points which makes it the only one. Anyway, it's only a minor point, but I just thought I'd mention it. Continuing down the road, we're going to come to the last of our cell points and the second farm. The second farm I'm going to finish with because that's where I'm going to explain about the slot count. I know it's been a little bit of a while coming. Another placeable area on the left-hand side there, which would just require a bit of a tidy up. The placeable points aren't that expensive and the farms aren't really. I think both of the farms to buy are only 80 something grand I think so as we come across here just going to pull up there by the side of the road so this cell point here we come from the energy farm and followed the road round is the agricultural trade Isinghagen which is just there and then we've got the second cell point for wood and like I said the other one is on the railway line the railway line runs across there this one isn't but then we do have all the forestry up here as well which is also accessible by the, the train there um, but it does give you two options for selling point for wood that's just a little bit along the road there so that's the icing and uh, Isinghagen and the cell point for wood is just this building here with the trigger just in front which is there. So what we've got left to do then is look at the second farm. Again, I'm checking down my list. <laughs> uh, yeah, talked about the various different buy points. I think, yeah, we're pretty much... So what we're going to talk about next then is the... Uh, uh, the slot count situation I've talked about it's 1031 on new farmer but I haven't mentioned start from scratch or um, farm manager yet which we're going to do now because when we come to the second farm we don't actually own it yet which means that the trigger for the cow barn here is not accessible because we don't own it so we can't actually access the trigger but interestingly when we get to it you will see the farm is already kitted out, everything's here. And if I go to the trigger there and open up the menu, there's nothing coming up for animal dialogue. But we do actually have 12 cows in this one as well. So this is where your hidden slots are. If you don't um, if you don't buy this farm, this farm and all the buildings and the cows here are sitting here using up slots. So you're almost better off buying it and then selling everything. I know it sounds a little bit bonkers. If we go to the map and we scroll across, what I want to do is buy the farm now. So like 81,599, let's buy the farm. Which means my dialog box now comes up, which means I can show you the, uh, the blinds that I meant to show you earlier. So we do that, open net up and down, opens the nets, shutters either side lets a bit more air flow through now this one as well if we go right the way through has all the same as the other one does we've got all the silos we've got all of the buildings we've got all of the storage all here so it's almost like a complete duplicate of the other one albeit the terrain is different but all the rest of the buildings we've got another one of these bunker silos and we have a second farmhouse here now that second farmhouse if you don't own the land is here but you don't get the trigger come up but now i own the land i've got the trigger come up so i've actually technically got two sleep through the night trigger points on this map and all of these are using up slots now if i come onto this on farm manager or start from scratch the slot count drops to 843 and it shows that I have nothing. So I've gone from 1031 down to 843 slots, which is great. But the thing about it is both of these farms are still sitting here with all of these buildings on and the cows just sitting here until you buy them. When you buy them, then they are accessible 
and then you can sell them if you wanted to. So that's the thing about it. If you decide to set your farm up somewhere else, and though both these farms sit here with all of this stuff on them, they are using up slots. If I buy both farms and I sell everything, and I mean everything, all the buildings, everything that comes with it, I can get that slot down to 626. So from 1031 down to 626. And what I've also done is check to see if I sell all of this and up at the other farm as well, you've got the flat areas. It might need a bit of landscaping with regard to textures and stuff, but you can place new buildings on here. I did try that. It's nice and flat. I tried a chicken pen, a pig pen. It allowed me to place. But here's where the word of warning comes in. If I go back to this menu again and we scroll across to our placeables, if I sell everything, and actually I do own them both now, don't I? So what we'll do is let's go to our garage menu and let's sell everything. So everything's doubled up now. As you can see, everything it's allowed me to sell everything. It won't let me do the, the cows because I've still got cows in them. But if I sold the cows, there's absolutely no reason at all why it wouldn't let me. I'm selling the fences that are around the buildings, the brick walls, all the stuff that's around them. And that's great. It's freeing up loads and loads of space. Couldn't be happier. My slot count's dropping. That's all good, isn't it? Now, obviously, because I'm on New, far uh, new Farmer, I've got all the vehicles, but if you come on to the other two, you don't have the vehicles. So we've got a load of these as well. We've got a load of pallets knocking about too so as you can see a lot of the buildings have started to go and that's great and our slot counts coming down but that's where the problem then comes in so i come back over to here i can buy a standard farmhouse under decoration as i showed you right at the start we have got all of these that we can put in but under sheds we haven't got any of the moose agra sheds or buildings under miscellaneous we haven't got anything under animal pens we don't have the cow barn so I sell those cow barns off. We don't have the Moose Agra cow barn available to put back. Now, you may not be bothered about that. You may just decide, you know what, I've got enough placeables of other things. I can get rid of everything and then place whatever I want on that map. You can get that slot count down to 626. But the word of warning is that if you like, um, well, these are still there. But if you like the Moose Agra barns, if you like that particular cow pasture, I'm just wondering, is that available as a separate mod, the Moose Agra? It's not under required mods, but... If you sell that, is there one the same as that that we can place? I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's, the warning does need to be there, but it does go to show there are kind of hidden slot count. Well, there is a hidden slot count on console. But weirdly, that forklift truck and the doghouse still doesn't appear anywhere. They're both there, and they must be taking up slots, but you don't own them and you can't sell them. But I think... Yeah, looking down my list, I think I've pretty much covered everything as far as i can tell it's a brilliant map loads of detail i love the fact there are so many buy points for everything yeah it's, it's really nice i just don't know what else to say it's brilliant that's ravensburg by top ace 888 i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form apologies if i've missed anything i hope i haven't If you have found it useful and informative, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.